the fascinating science of cryonics could give people a second chance at life. The whole idea of cryonics started with physics professor Robert Edinger. He pioneered the movement with his seminal book, The Prospect for Immortality. He then went on to launch the Cryonics Institute. But just what is cryonics, and what does the Cryonics Institute do? Cryonics is a procedure that preserves the human body at low temperatures after death, in the hope it can be revived in the future. The process should begin immediately after a person is declared legally dead. Even though the heart has stopped beating, there's still brain function during this period, so a heart-lung resuscitator is used to stabilize the body and keep the brain supplied with blood and oxygen. The body is cooled in an ice bath to slow down metabolic demand and to protect both DNA and organ structure. Then anticoagulants and protective medications are injected into the body to stop the blood clotting during transit. The body is then packed in ice and transported to a cryonics facility. Once there, a process called vitrification begins, where the blood is replaced with a cryoprotectant antifreeze solution. This is done to prevent the cells from freezing and to stop ice crystals from forming around organs at extremely low temperatures. The body is then placed in a computerized vapor cooling chamber and cooled to negative 196 degrees Celsius. Once the body is properly cooled, the patient is transferred to a long-term cryostat storage container. Thousands of people are signed up for cryonics throughout the world and the numbers are steadily growing. The Cryonics Institute is the world's largest provider of whole body cryonics. They have performed more whole body human and pet cryo suspensions than any other organization. The Cryonics Institute is also the most affordable cryonics company with a whole body suspension fee of only $28,000. Most people could afford this cost with simple life insurance. Our organization is a member owned nonprofit with open financial records. Suspension money collected is carefully invested in secure endowment-like securities. The investment dividends earned from these investments fund perpetual storage and cryonics upkeep. This is how CI has operated since 1976. Some people prematurely dismiss cryonics because the technology to revive someone who has been cryogenically frozen does not exist yet. But they miss the point. Cryonics is really an ambulance ride now to a future hospital where that technology may someday exist. What does science say? There are now peer-reviewed scientific papers supporting cryonics, as well as many PhDs who have gone on record to support cryonics. Recent advances in stem cells, nanotechnology, and genetic engineering are proving that what was once considered impossible is becoming routine. Some have suggested that someday even aging itself may be halted or reversed. People once considered dead only 50 years ago, today are revived with CPR and cardiac defibrillation. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation and organ transplant technology were once shunned by primitive thinkers, but today they are hailed as life-saving advances. If history has taught us anything, no one knows the future, and it is foolish to say what future technology will be impossible. Considering the alternative, which is certain death, Cryonics is a rational scientific wager with little to lose and virtually everything to gain. Check out cryonics.org to learn more.